All right, so this is going to be a quick uh, video tour of how my spider wiper works. Um, first of all, we've got a uh, wiper motor here that's mounted on a plywood disc. Each of the legs is a piece of PVC. Under this plate here, there's a nail so that it can uh, kind of rotate. Uh, this is burlap wrapped around the half inch PVC, 45 degree um, couplers right here. And then underneath, there's pieces of PVC, and when the wheels rotate, they push the wheel up. So when the wiper motor runs, it, we've got two wheels there, as you can see. So uh, these rotate and push all the legs up, so they all bounce, and I'll show you what that looks like later on. And then uh, the whole head, is actually on a gate hinge so if I lift this up from here you can see the whole head goes up whoop there goes my head huh. this is the uh, this is the head it's made out of a bunch of layers of styrofoam um, looks like I'm lost one of my fangs here anyway um, up in the head here there's a series of plastic balls that have been cut in half and LEDs installed so that when it goes off uh, the eyes all light up and that's all wired up in here and attached to the same line that runs the uh, the wiper motor so let me take a second to put his head back on and we'll see how that looks all right so this is what the spider looks like with his head on and uh, so we'll go around to the body portion which is where the rest of the guts are so the um, the head is on a hinge so let me see if I can lift it up here. Oh, it's really heavy. So when I lift it, there you go, see that? So <clears throat> I just welded a um, welded a bracket on there under this gate hinge. And I've got a three and a half inch uh, cylinder. This is a one and one sixteenths air cylinder. And uh, it pulls the head up. So the head rears up as it's attacking. So that's pretty fun. And then there's a regulator on here, of course. This actually needs a lot of pressure. Right now it's set at 120, which is pretty close to the max that this thing needs. And then second cylinder, this is a 10 inch, also one and one sixteenth bore. And it pushes on this uh, scissor. So if I turn the pressure off here, so we can Let's see here. Nope, wrong way. Turn off the pressure. And I can push it so you can kind of see how it works. There we go. So that pushes the, lunges the spider forward. Now you can see it riding on some wheels down here. And uh, this piece of plywood is just acting as a guide so that the spider always goes straight back and forth. And um, so I've got the cylinder attached to the middle of the uh, scissor here. It's got, a, um, I welded a tab to the top of it so that the uh, cylinder can attach to it. And that's how the spider lunges back and forth at you. And then this piece of plywood, this is left over from another project, which is why it has black fabric on it. I welded up a bracket here for the uh, scissor to push against. And uh, my welding is horrible, by the way, so no judgment. <laughs> Anyway, this uh, bracket is screwed into this plywood, so it has a place to push off of. So the spider jumps back and forth, lunges at you, like that. And then this little thing here, <clears throat> this, uh, <clears throat> I recently had to rewire it, which is why the wires are all over the place, and just kind of temporarily secured. Um, back here on the back is the four banger which uh, has been working really well since I pulled my wires off. I think I had bad wiring, so I used some better wires. Um, let's see here. And then, uh, anyway, this, this is a cable bridge. So this is attached with hinges on all these places here so that when the spider goes, that the wires don't have any strain on them. And that actually goes for the airline too, I just don't have it up there at the moment. So 
the air line attaches. So as the spider jumps back and forth, there's no trouble with uh, worrying about cables getting pinched or stretched. And uh, these red wheels here, I actually have them already. Um, they're way over, over um, weight and everything. But uh, that's what I had, so I used them. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the uh, how the thing works. And there is a body that goes over the top. Let me grab it right here. It's uh, it's also made of styrofoam. We just used multiple layers, glued them together, and just kind of hollowed it out as we went. 